What exactly does it mean to burn body fat or get rid of body fat? To get rid of body fat, three important physiological steps must be completed, which are lipolysis, transportation, and oxidation of fatty acids. In your fat cells, fat is stored in the form of triglycerides, which are simply a glycerol molecule bound to three free fatty acid chains. Now to get rid of fat, you must first break down the fat to get it out of the cell. And this step of separating the fatty acids from the glycerol molecule is called lipolysis. Lipolysis is stimulated by catecholamines, which are fight or flight hormones increased in response to high intensity exercise or caffeine ingestion. Lipolysis is also inhibited by insulin. After lipolysis, the fatty acids must be transported away from the fat cells and into the muscle cells. Here, the fatty acids enter the blood and are carried to the muscle cell by albumin proteins, since fat is not water soluble. Finally, when the fatty acids enter the muscle cell, they must be transported into the mitochondria and oxidized or react with oxygen to generate ATP. This process depends on a steady supply of oxygen, which can be triggered by low to moderate intensity aerobic exercise. When the exercise intensity becomes too high, the body will start to prefer the use of glucose for fuel. So how can you apply these concepts to design a good exercise protocol for fat loss? To optimize step one, lipolysis, you can start your workout with high intensity exercise such as resistance exercise to maximize catecholamine output. Lifting weights can also help minimize muscle loss while losing fat. Caffeine ingestion before workout can also help. And to minimize insulin action, starting your workout in a fasted state might maximize lipolysis. After 20 to 30 minutes of high intensity exercise, fatty acids are now released into the bloodstream. At this point, you can start performing lower intensity cardio to transport those fatty acids into the muscle and burn them off in mitochondria.